Hello, this is Michael with Coleman & Company. That's ColemanAndCompany.com. We're available down here in Tampa, Florida. Today, we're going to discuss how to put stones on glass. So when I say stones, I'm talking about rhinestones. You can also work with rhine studs, even nail heads. The process of putting them on glass involves a pretty fancy material that we refer to as hard surface material. It's got a nice little shine on, on the front. That's where your stones are going to be placed. And on the back, there's basically a paper carrier that when you peel it off, it becomes a sticker. Okay, what we're going to do in today's project is we're going to take these two hearts, one at a time. We're going to put them on the surface of the hard surface material. And by the time we're finished, we're then going to try to put these directly on the candy jar as well as the motorcycle helmet. Both of these projects are going to involve a lot of detail. It's going to start at the heat press. We're going to trim this heart in half so that we can work one at a time. And at the same time, we also are going to stress the importance of adjusting the pressure of your heat press. One of the things I like to do is I'll adjust the pressure of the heat press as light as I can. All you're looking for is to press the stones gently, just enough to heat them, not enough to squeeze the bejesus out of the glue behind it. All the glue that goes into a garment will, you see how I can move that parchment paper? That's not bad. I actually might loosen that up just a little bit more. As I loosen it up and I can pull it out a little gentler or a little easier, that kind of tells me that the heat press is pretty much where I want it to be. We have a naked rhinestone design right on the face of that hard surface material. Put it on your heat press and you definitely want to protect it so we're going to put a piece of parchment paper right over the top. And all we're going to do is press it down for about 15 seconds under that light pressure we talked about. Okay, we're going to lift it back up. Now at this point I feel pretty confident. I am going to press down on those stones a little bit with a cloth to protect the, this is still kind of warm. I'm just giving the stones a nice push down. I can peel this away. Now the way I test this is I am going to let it uh, settle up a little bit so I'm going to wave it to sort of cool those stones down. All I'm going to try to do is I'm going to grab one side of the transfer paper. That's the stuff that is holding the stones in place. I'm going to pull one direction, see if any stones are loose, then I'll pull it the other way. We're back from the heat press and like I showed before, the items have been heat pressed so that it's sticking to the surface, the hard surface material, not to the transfer sheet. Now at this point, you're trying to make a nicer, neater heart. So I like to use the term eighth of an inch. You see this space here between the stone and the outside material? That's going to be your nice clear border that's going to allow you to push down a nice tight edge on the final placement of this material. We are going to place this heart on the side of our candy jar. Why not? Everybody loves candy, right? You want to peel the backing away from the design, not the opposite. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to keep the, the design flat, peel the backing away. So if I bend anything, I'm trying to bend the paper backing and not the design. Okay? That wasn't too shabby. Now at this point, I'm going to lay this down so I can work with it. And I'm just going to put this at an angle because I think it looked kind of neat if it was at a bit of an angle. I'm going to start on one end and sort of work out the air bubbles kind of go in one direction and once all I'm touching really is the inner part of that design and when I get down to where I'm just about done now I can peel off the transfer paper and once I peel that off see how that's nice and clean I'm then going to simply push down on that outer edge that's the eighth inch edge that we left as a nice tight border pushing that down, getting a nice and clean edge, and look at that. That's gorgeous. You can always find the hard surface material at ColemanAndCompany.com. Visit us today and start putting stones on glass. Your customers will love it.